Y'all know what time it is. This is the Marlin Show. I'm Funk. This guy over here is Marlin. What's going on, Mar? How you doing, buddy? What long time did I see? A long time did I see? It's been about a week since our last uh, Talking Sports. And uh, we've got some questions in that week, as we always do. Uh, first one that we have is from uh, Scott Olson. And to kind of set this up, uh, we know... Marlin knows about this, but maybe not everybody does. Uh, there's recently a high school football game that went on in Texas. Two teams, the uh, the score was 91 to zero, and uh, there's actually uh, charges being filed by the parents of the losing school, saying it was uh, bullying. And so, uh, what Scott's question is, he wants to know what uh, your opinion is about the uh, 91 to zero. Uh, high school football game. Well, the 91-0 high school football game was led by uh, the winning team from the Texas. This uh, Eddie Eddie Elio team uh, program is a quad A champ, a state champion in Texas. They've been dominant for that for a number of years, from what I hear. And this team went out there. Just kicked the hell out of this team by 91 points. Um, and what I've also learned, been learned reading up on them, that this team's been blown out their opponents by the average score of about 70 points. Holy and, Christ! And tell me about it, man. It's just like, what are, are they you trying to prove something? Just prove they're the, the, probably the most dominant team in Texas. But are they if, being? If like... I would, if I would, or if I have any, agree, any uh, suggestions to the program, I say start beefing up your na- schedule and start taking on some national teams. If you could beat teams from Texas about 70 points, it's time you see how really good you are. Yeah, you know, This team probably one of the top teams in the nation. Maybe the number yeah. one team in, in the whole country. You know, Texas football is like is like, is like America's pastime down there. They they take their football so serious. They have coaches get paid about about a quarter of a million dollars. That facility is in the millions. It's unbelievable down there, man. You know what else they take serious down there? Chili. Oh, yeah. They love and the chili. And, chi- and the barbecue, too, my friend. Ooh. Don't forget that. And and, and and good Texas steaks. But anyway, this this parent that just raised a complaint against them because they just beat, because they, they were mad because we, we beat the hell out of your team, and now you're filing a, a, a bullying plaint? Whoever that fan is, I like to say, get a life. This ain't this. If your if the football team was bullying, play were bullying the players, like you know, and such throughout the game. Okay, I w- I would take that consideration. But but beating up on your team because because they were that good. Hey, you can't beat that. What if that happened to Penn State? What if somebody beat Penn State ninety-one to zero? How would you feel about it then? Well, it's just one thing that we we just got killed. We got destroyed big time. And it wasn't ninety-one to zero. Nope. But well, it was. But but and I never see Penn State get destroyed like that type of score and. In the longest time, but except for you know getting beat like forty-eight to seven by Wisconsin a couple of years back, and and the Nebraska, here in Nebraska and Ohio State a number of years as well, and this is it's you know it's just how it's how the game is, you know if, it's just when you're be- when you're a better team you're a better team it's just wait it's just how things go. No mercy from Marlin, no mercy from Marlin. <laughs> He's a T-Rex. He goes for the throat. You other pussies. <laughs> you can't. If you're not good enough, just get off the field. That's how Marlon looks at it. 
Don't don't go crying to your mama because your team just lost ninety one to zero. Not from Marlon. Nah, you don't get that. He don't play that shit. If you're if you're I understand if you're bullying the players because they're they're being a bunch of idiots. Okay then, then then file a complaint then. But when you're if you're filing a complaint against a high school team who just whooped your team's ass by a landslide, you got you need you need to take a good hard look at yourself and say, hey, what's going on? Go home and wait for your balls to drop. Don't even watch. Don't even watch this team ever again. Leave no. them alone. Yeah. Leave them alone, man, because they're a hell. Of a, they're a hell of a team. Uh, if you have any suggestions, hey, take on take on some of the top programs in the country for God's sakes. That's all I have to say on that. And, and to the Texas team, Aquade, stay strong, be strong. Hey, your power. You're the power team in the state. Come on up here, play some real football, Pennsylvania, and let's see. Let's see if you're if you're to tough. Dog of, of the country as well, and believe it or not, take on teams from Florida, California as well. At, and Galactia, I hope you beat this thing. Well, there you have it. That's the.